locks on impact. His knee locks, his ankle locks. But never tilt the ball towards the kicker. That's a big no-no in the kicking industry. So, basically two inches from the bottom of the ball to hit that nice sweet spot of the ball. Just like we would for a baseball or hitting a nice golf uh, long drive. Right here is going to give us our optimal distance Nice end over end, but they'll spin very quickly and may not get as much. Hitting that sweet spot, hitting with that big bone, we get that nice rotation. Now, if we hit it too high, which sometimes can't happen, we get those line drive kick there. The depth of this foot is very important, okay? If his foot is a little bit too far out in front over here, if he's planting past the ball, he'll normally hit this ball out to the right. Okay? This plant foot, go ahead and put it back there, Brian Foreman everything in your field, finishing, picking up the next ball, not even looking at the kick that he just hit. Once he, after he makes impact, he comes down, Brian locks his knee, locks his ankle. As he follows through, he generates a little bit of a skip and then transfers his weight back down to his kicking leg and becomes square balanced to his kick. Pick up, kick. Third, he uses hips in the kick and that's where our true power comes from. Start on balance and you want to finish on 